Hi, my beautiful sisters. I am Sharonda Richardson, my husband and I are taller. We attend South Tampa campus. And it's such an honor to swear with you ladies this semester. So let's dive in. So as for our scripture, we'll be uh, coming from Ephesians 2, 22. And so this is Paul talking to the church of Ephesus. And to give a little context, I will read Ephesians 2, 19 through 22. And it reads from the Passion Translation version as, so you are not foreigners or guests, but rather you are the children of the city of the Holy One with all the rights as a family member of the household of God. You are rising like the perfectly fitted stone of the temple and your lives have been built up together upon the foundation laid by the apostles, prophets, and best of all, you are connected to the head cornerstone of the building, the anointed one, Jesus Christ himself. The entire building is under construction and is continually growing under his supervision until it rises up, completed as the holy temple, the Lord himself. 22, our scripture. This means that God is transforming each one of you into the holy of holy, his dwelling place through the power of the Holy Spirit living in you. So, oh, while studying the scripture, I observed and what stood out the most was his dwelling place through the power of the Holy Spirit living in you, meaning us sisters. And so A, how does this apply to me and you? It reminds me of a caterpillar. A caterpillar does not change into a beautiful butterfly overnight, right? But in fact, it goes through a transformation process, just like you and I. The Lord transform us from our old ways and gradually build us into this magnificent spiritual house where his son Jesus, the chief cornerstone, can dwell there through the power of the Holy Spirit in us. And the cool thing about transformation, it is uniquely different for each individual. But as believers of Christ, our goal is the same, to be a dwelling temple where our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, can reside. And for R, when I reflect on this scripture and how it applies to my daily life, I think, it is so awesome. We are no longer foreigners, but being transformed daily into the holy of holies by the Holy Spirit. So, sisters, I will end with this prayer and I came across while studying this scripture. The author is unknown, but the prayer is powerful. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you that Christ is building his church stone by living stone into a holy temple of God. Thank you that we have become part of it and have the indwelling spirit of God as a guarantee. You started a good work in us, and I pray that you will continue to fashion, form, and transform us into the likeness of Christ with every passing day. In Jesus' name, I pray. See you all soon.